Okay, in this video I'm going to run through four of the Taylor series that you definitely just need to memorize and uh, then do two examples of using them uh, based on having memorized them. So uh, let's get started. So the first one is sine of x. And sine of x is going to be x and then minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial plus dot 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 plus. So when you write it out you always want to uh, include that plus dot 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 plus. And now we need a general term. So it's going to, uh, the series alternates, so we need negative 1 to the n. Then there are odd powers of x over an odd denominator. And then at the end we put plus dot 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 because it's a series, so it goes on forever. So uh, to remember this, uh, you have to remember that it alternates. But uh, once you use them for a while, that's not hard to do. And just remember, sine is an odd function, so it makes sense that we would approximate it using odd polynomials. Um, so we're going to only have the odd powers. And then the next one is cosine. Cosine's uh, really similar, except if you recall, cosine is an even function, so we're only going to want even polynomials. And you have to remember that it starts off with 1, so it's going to be 1, and then minus, uh, we have a second degree term, and plus a fourth degree term, and then minus a sixth degree term. And then we finally get to our nth term, so we have plus dot 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 plus. Alternates again. Um, and then we just need uh, even powers. So even function going to lead to even powers. So neither of those is particularly bad to memorize. They look somewhat similar, and you definitely need to know them. Uh, the next one is e to the x. So e to the x is uh, kind of arguably easier to remember. So it's just 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot dot dot. And uh, in this case, it does not alternate, and it's just going to be x to the n over n factorial, plus dot, dot, dot. You notice I'm not writing summations. Um, you can definitely memorize the summations, and you can work with the summations, but uh, personally, and uh, for most of my students, I find that it's just easier to write out a couple terms and then get the nth term. Um, so that's why I'm kind of skipping them here. So uh, every power is going to be in e to the x, and uh, I'm not going to do it in this video because it takes... Uh, it's just really a lot of writing. But uh, you should try to investigate e to the i theta and show that it equals cosine theta plus i times sine of theta. It's kind of a neat little thing that you can do with these power series, um, Taylor series. And then the last one that we need to definitely have memorized is 1 over 1 minus x, which you might recognize as uh, geometric. So uh, this one is also pretty easy to remember. Uh, it's kind of like e to the x without the denominators. So we have 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot 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 plus x to the n plus dot 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 goes on forever. Um, with the one caveat for this one that uh, the absolute value of x must be less than 1. And um, the interval of convergence there is pretty important. So for example, it doesn't make any sense to plug 5 into this because uh, 1 over 1 minus 5 does not equal the sum of the powers of 5. Uh, just never going to happen. Okay, so now what I'll do is uh, two examples. So the first one, I'll just show a simple one. Uh, if I need to find a series for sine of 3x, uh, what I could do is I could find, you know, all the derivatives, set up a table, and then, you know, use uh, the formula and plug in. That's going to work, but it's going to take forever. So instead what I do is I jot down a series for sine of u. So basically I'm just replacing all the x's with u because uh, you can always do that. So I start with this, and now I'm going to replace every u that I see with 3x. So I get this. So I'm just going through, replacing every u in that thing with a 3x. And, uh, I mean, I'm actually kind of done at this point, but I don't really like leaving it that way. I like to pull everything apart so everything has its own exponent rather than having a product to an exponent. Um, kind of a personal preference, but it makes it easier to work with them in the long run. So I'm going to go through and do that. So we have this. And there you go. That's your series for uh, sine of 3x. So not bad, right? If you didn't have sine memorized, you would not be able to do that. Um, at least not as quickly, because you would definitely need to take derivatives. You'd get to the end, and maybe you would notice, ah, oh, I just could have used sine of x and plugged in. Uh, let's look at one more. So we have e to the negative 2x cubed plus 2x cubed minus 1 all over x to the fifth. So this one is going to demonstrate how I do problems like this. I basically just build the function. So I'm going to start with um, e. So 
e to the u. 1 plus u plus u squared over 2 factorial plus u cubed over 3 factorial, blah, blah, blah. So we have that. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did for sine of 3x. I'm going to replace every u with negative 2x cubed. So we have this. It's kind of annoying to write, but, you know, that's how it goes. Like that. Um, so I'm going to pull this apart so that everything has its own exponent. And you can see this, uh, now it alternates. And it's alternating because, uh, you know, when we hit that second term, it's just minus 2x cubed. Uh, the third term is negative 2x cubed, but we're squaring, so the, the negative 1 squared just becomes positive. So that's where the alternation comes from. Um, and we have that nice looking general term there. So the next thing I need to do is I need to take this series and I need to add 2x cubed and subtract 1. So I'll just actually write that out. So it's going to be the series I just wrote. Now the thing that trips some people up on this is there's only one 2x cubed that we're going to add and there's only one 1 that we're going to subtract. So it's not like you have to add 2x cubed to every single term of the series. Uh, you really are just adding it once. And what's convenient about this, and what happens all the time, because these problems are kind of contrived, is um, you're going to get some cancellation. So if you look, uh, the plus 2x cubed that I just added there is just going to cancel with the minus 2x cubed that we have there in the second position. Um, and the same thing is going to happen with the uh, minus 1 and the leading term there, the plus 1. So we're just left with uh, this. So everything else is gone. Well, not... I mean, we still have an infinite number of terms, but those first two terms are gone. Um, so now to finish this, I'm going to take what I have and divide everything I see by x to the fifth. So I think what trips some people up is actually just uh, simple, like, pre-algebra order of operations and solving equations and working with uh, common terms. Uh, I'm going to add a third term because it's weird to just have two leading terms, or two non-zero terms, I should say. Um, and there you go. So I went through, I divided everything by x to the fifth. Um, which means that, you know, x to the 6th divided by x to the 5th is x to the 1st, x to the ninth divided by x to the 5th is x to the 4th, and so on. And then in the general term, the x to the 3n divided by x to the 5th becomes x to the 3n minus 5. Um, and then there's one last thing. If you look at the right-hand side of this uh, equation that I've written, um, I actually could plug in 0. But if you look at the left-hand side, you can plug in 0. So to make them totally equivalent, I have to restrict it and say that x is not equal to 0. Um, but that's an example of how you can work with these functions that we've now memorized, um, so it's worth your time. I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.